I got my first snipe on May 20th, 1970. And I can remember that because that's the day I got married. I bought the snipe and then I got married. But, but, but I made it right because I bought her new oil skins that day. And then I also came home from the honeymoon a couple days early to sail the Memorial Day regatta. So I smoothed that over really well. Well, I sailed the snipe here at Alamese Bay for most of the years and I traveled. And I think one of my big contributions was getting a lot of the young people into the snipe for the first time, getting them to crew, getting them out of the bay, out in the ocean, you know, kind of uh, showing them a new, a new side to sailing. Uh, they're very important. They're, first, they're important to the, you know, the longevity of the entire sport, but also the class because they can come up as crews. Uh, you know, it's still a family boat in a lot of cases. The younger kids, my daughter crewed for me for a great number of years. Uh, you got to go home and see her that night. So it made me a lot better skipper, I think, and the fact that uh, first that was the first time she'd ever been in a big boat. So I had to bring her along, teach her. Uh, sometimes when it got really windy, uh, make sure she had the confidence, you know, that she wasn't afraid, uh, not, never let her fear or, because I always think if you scare a kid or somebody, they may never come back. So it's real important to keep her confidence and always make it fun for her. We've been sailing together now for probably 30 years and have, uh, we still sail. I mean, she looks forward to this, this regatta, this, our wet Wednesdays here in the Long Beach area. I sailed mostly in Southern California. Earl Elms, Tom Newt, Jeff Linhart, uh, Jerry Thompson were the people that I remember mostly at the front of the fleet. Uh, Mike and Tom McLaughlin were a lot of fun. Um, I had the good fortune. I usually stayed in about the middle of the fleet, so I had lots of competitors. The most fun I've ever had in a snipe is I don't really think there's a, a moment so much as just when you're really in competition and there's a lot of boats around you and maybe at one moment you have a bit of brilliance and you outmaneuver one of the heroes, one, you, know, yeah, you snooker Earl Elms or Jeff Linhart or somebody and you get them. And so maybe it's just a few brief moments of victory over just a one moment. Well, when I first started sailing the Snipes, the class was uh, very strong. That's where all the good sailors were. They also traveled. Uh, San Diego to San Francisco was a common weekend somewhere in that area. So it was fun to travel. It was good competition and good, good camaraderie after races. I always like to travel to regattas because to me the preparation was just as much fun. Talking about it, everybody getting hotel rooms, figuring out travel, arrival. So you know, like they say in painting, you know, preparation is 90 percent of success. And I think I had as much fun, you know, just the being in the essence of going to the regattas, getting ready, the camaraderie on the docks, getting your boats and everything ready to go. I think is as a great part of the of the traveling and the fun of the class. Everybody, you know, they help each other out, whether you're lifting boats in or using a hoist. Uh, you always get a chance to peek in the other guy's boat and see what he's got, that maybe that's the reason he snookered you that day. So it's a little chance to you know, do a little re reconnaissance work. And again, part of the bonding and the, and the camaraderie of the class.